I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we are going to explore and find the value of E, the Euler's number. You have already seen that the derivative of any exponential function is normally given in terms of e and ln x. So it is very important for us to understand what after all is the value of e and what is its significance. So in this video we will just focus on how do we evaluate the value of e. e can be written as limit x approaches 0 for 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x. Here is an alternate formula for e e is also given as limit x approaches infinitely large number 1 plus 1 over x to the power of x. So, it is one and the same thing both are related correct both are related same thing. So, in 1 we will consider when x approaches 0 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x. Now, you can very clearly see if I substitute 0 here then what do I get? I get 1 plus 0 to the power of 1 over 0. So, this is a form which is 1 over infinity. Now, that is an indeterminate, right? Since it is an indeterminate, we really cannot evaluate its value, right? But using the concept of limit, we can always find what this value could be. We are fully aware that this value of e is an irrational number. All that known to us. Now, I would like you to pause the video and find or rather evaluate the value of e correct to three significant figures. Correct to three significant figures. Using the limits concept and the formula given. Perfect. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. As you know, most of my students perform very well and they are right on the top of the class, mainly because of strong foundation and clear concepts. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandilani. Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulik Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. Now, let us see how do we evaluate this value. So, as already shared with you, E is given by this particular formula. Limit x approaches 0, 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x. So, if we approach from both the sides, in that case, if the value approaches a particular value, then we are sure that is the value, right? We are only interested in three significant figures. So, accurate to three significant figures, right? So, in that case, we will go to thousandth. So, I have created a table here for you. So, x values approaching from left hand side, we say limit 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x, where x approaches 0 from left hand side, we will take a value as minus 0.1, minus 0 0.01, minus 0.0001, minus 0 0.0001 and we will figure out what is this value. Similarly, we will approach from the right hand side. So, so if you approach from left and right side, we will compare the values to three significant figures and here we are approaching that means we are decreasing the values towards 0 from 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001 to 0 0.0001, thousand. Right. So, use calculator, fill this table and observe. 
So, I did the same thing. So, I used the calculator, filled this table. Here is just the basics of the concepts of the limit, right? So, just to review, if you want to find limit of any function at, as x approaches a value a, then the function should approach a real number l. So, that real number l is what we are going to find out for e. So, when I placed all these values, I found that the value really approaches to 2.718 from both the sides. So, we see that this value of e is approximately equal to 2.718. For our calculations up to three significant figures, this is good enough value. And therefore, you can see that is the value of e. So, do you get the the answer for that. How do we evaluate the value of E? We evaluate the value of E using this particular formula, which is limit x approaches 0 for 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x. And in case you want more accuracy, you can continue with this table further and you'll find that the value to the next decimal place will be 2.7182. And likewise, you can continue and get more and more accurate values of this irrational number. Is that clear to you? I hope with this, the concept of finding the value of Euler's number E is absolutely clear. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Feel free to write your suggestions and comments. Thanks for your time and all the best.